In this video, I will demonstrate the basics of how to use Tmux, but I know one day you'll probably come back wanting a reference. So on the screen is a cheat sheet, so pause if you need to, otherwise, let's get into it. First, you need to install Tmux. Now that's out to the scope of this video, but Tmux's GitHub page has great instructions for installation on multiple systems, so I encourage you to use that as a resource. Now that we have Tmux installed, let's talk about the basics. To launch a session of Tmux, just type Tmux, and you know it's running when you see this iconic green bar at the bottom of the screen. Now that Tmux is running, we've got a lot of power. Now say I want to start a web server like I'm doing here, but I want to keep it running and access another prompt at the same time. Now to do that, I will type the Tmux hotkey, which by default is control B and then quote. Now control B quote splits the pane horizontally and control B percent sign splits the panel vertically. And you can split the terminal in as many panes as you want. Now, as you can see, I'm opening up a file for editing in the bottom right pane here, but the file is really hard to read because the pane is pretty small. Now, if I wanted to maximize a pane to take up the full screen real estate, I just type control B Z and that maximizes the pane. And you can tell a pane is maximized because Tmux appends that Z character to the bottom of the window name in that green bar. Then to minimize that pane again, I just type control B Z and it minimizes. Now to cycle focus between the panes, or in other words, move your cursor between the panes, I just type control B followed by an arrow key in the direction I wanna move focus. So in this case, I've currently got the bottom right pane in focus. So if I wanna move focus up to that top pane, I just type control B and then up arrow. Then to cycle focus back down to the bottom left, I just type control B down arrow. Now, but again, you can use any arrow key in any direction you want. So whether that be top, bottom, left, or right. Now, if I want to close a pane, I'd move focus to it and then I type control B X. Now, as you can see, the green bar in the bottom turns yellow to indicate that it expects input from me. And so I'll just type the letter Y to confirm that I want to close that pane. Lastly, panes can exist in their own tabs or as Tmux calls them windows. So if I wanted to have a bunch of panes related to my web server, but then I wanted to do something else completely different, I could create a new Tmux window by typing control B C. And now as you can see at the bottom, I have two tabs or two windows with all my web server panes in one and the other free to do whatever I want. I'm free to split that second window up in any way I choose using control B percent sign or the other split commands we went over. But with multiple tabs open, it may become important to label them to understand what's going on in each window. So you can rename windows by typing control B comma, typing a new name for that window and then hitting enter like I'm doing here. Now that you have a couple windows created to cycle focus between the two, just type control B N and that'll move focus to the next window over. Now to close out a window and all the panes in it, I'll just type control B ampersand. And as you can see that green bar in the bottom turns yellow and I'll just confirm my choice. Now these three or four commands to split panes, add windows and cycle focus are gonna get you quite a long way. But one of the best things about Tmux is that your session, in other words, the workspaces with all the panes and windows you created, all of that is an independent process that can be detached and then reattached without affecting what you've got running. So as you can see here, if I type control B D to detach my session, my Tmux workspace goes away, but it actually continues running in the background unaffected. Now that web server I started, that's still running. And if I wanted to pick up where I left off, I can just reinitialize that session by typing Tmux attach. Now this detaching, attaching workflow is especially useful if you do development on a cloud machine. And then if your SSH connection becomes severed, Tmux will automatically detach. So then you can just log back into that cloud machine. You can just SSH back in, type Tmux attach, and then you'll pick off right where you left off. Now there is a reason I use basic in the title of this video. This cheat sheet and demonstration of features is just a fraction of what Tmux can do. Now that said, these commands represent probably 95% of what I use Tmux for. So don't be intimidated by these complex explanations or long articles. Tmux is simple and easy to use. Now, if you'd like to go further, check out the follow-up video or the article I linked below, which features my three essential modifications I make to the default Tmux configuration. Also linked below is a blog article that features the same cheat sheet you saw at the beginning and end of this video. So until the next one, thanks for watching and I will see you later.